Yay! We got to watch uh, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency again, and uh, I'm a day behind. I know, but you know, we you know, life happens. It is you know Christmas time. Yeah, and you know, got my got my hat hat on. This is a different hat, uh, and uh, this is an older one of mine, and it stinks. Uh, literally, it smells kind of bad. It's kind of you know kind of musty smelling. So um, <laughs> I'll have to get that taken care of. This is clean looking, but it's, you know, it just smells bad. So, uh, you know, what's been going on? We'll talk about uh, Dirk Gently here a little bit because uh, 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 this was the season finale. And, uh, you know, Estevez comes in guns a blazing and uh, he shoots the freaking machine. He shoots the soul transference machine. You know, they have Lily, they, they, they have, they have, uh, you know, Lydia Springs in place. They have, you know, Rumpelstiltskin, the dog. The Corgi in place. Uh, they have all the players in place. But Estevez comes in guns a blazing and he shoots the machine. Okay, now bear in mind he's also in trouble. He's been told he's off the case by the captain and everything. So, you know, he really wasn't exactly acting in, in accordance. Uh, you know, um, Farrah comes in, uh, you know, kind of more or less saves the day kind of thing. Uh, she does that trick where uh, she takes her bra off and then she uses the underwire to pick the lock. Yeah, not much of a lock. <laughs> you ask me, that's okay. All right, cool. Uh, you know, it was in the script. Okay, so um, I mean, it ranks right up there with uh, the previous episode where she cut through the back seat to get out and then shot the guy blind using a mirror. Yeah. I don't think so. But that's okay. Hey, it's a Dirk Gently. It's, it's a Dirk Gently episode. So, okay, all kinds of weird things can happen. I mean, it was, uh, you know, the universe saying it was going to happen. That's why it happened, all right? You know, why she didn't use in the last episode the pull cord that has been installed for years on cars to, you know, help people get locks in trunks. I don't know. Uh, you know, this is a little pull cord if you... Look at your car, and you know there's a little thing to pull the hatch open so you can open the trunk from the inside. The inside, you know, just for those kind of occasions. And apparently, it happens enough that people, yeah, they put that in there. Okay, so anyway, uh, so yeah, so he comes in guns a blazing, and he uh, and and he caused caused some problems with the machine. Now the other machine that the uh, that the uh, the soul transference people have been using. Uh, uh, was there, which was kind of, was, which is a hokey, you know, you know remix thing. And, uh, so they're going to use that thing, but they have to get it back over to Prince's Prince spring springs place, uh, is, is, uh, his house. Uh, so, uh, Dirk's been shot, uh, uh, by one of the, uh, comp you know, the, the bows from the, uh, from the guys. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be messing with my phone right now. But I want the IMDb up, uh, so I have my cat. I have the cast in front of me. I use, I use, I use IMDb to make sure I have the cast right. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, we all know, you know, Samuel Barnett, Elijah Wood. Uh, we, you know, I, but yeah, I mean, who's Amanda? Oh, it's, it's Hannah Marks, by the way. Um, and Bart, one of our favorite characters, the uh, holistic. Uh, the, the holistic assassin. Uh, she's still messed up at the beginning of this episode. She's still messed up about the whole, you know, you know, I got, I got hurt. She couldn't, she can't fathom this, you know, what, you know, and, and Ken says, well, what doesn't, what doesn't, uh, what doesn't kill you makes you hurt really bad. You know, and she's winging and everything. It's like, you know, and, uh, you know, she's watching TV and she's, becoming, she's, you know, she's, she's fully ready to become a TV, you know, fanatic. Uh, but, uh, uh, better than going out there and, you know, uh, you know, having to face reality, right? So Ken talks her into, into leaving and, you know, they get, puts her in, of all things, bellhop clothes. Full circle here. So uh, so she's in a bellhop outfit. Um, you know, Lydia and, uh, and, and, the, and Rumpel, is it Rumpel Stillskin, the dog? Uh, Farrah, Estevez... Uh, Dirk and Todd all go back to the spring residence with the hokey machine. And, uh, and, and, you know, they, they, man, they do manage, um, uh, to get the, tr the transference done. Uh, but not before Gordon shows up, uh, with a couple of his goons, uh, and a whole bunch of the SWAT team. 
uh, to uh, to take him out and to to get in there and get his machine back and get everything, everything get his dog back uh, and everything. And he puts on a gl- blue glitter war paint. <laughs> so let's you see, you see him putting this stuff on oh, and his blue glitter uh, his, uh, from his days of luxe du jour. He's all all of that. Um, so uh, spoiler alert: if you don't want to hear hear it, uh, stop. Gordon gets shot in the head by Farah. That was actually pretty good. I like that aspect. Uh, so, you know, uh, but uh, they get they get them. You know, they they get Lydia back uh, uh, into her own body, and uh, the per the 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 bald guys the uh, who I think they've just been transferred one too many times. I'm not sure. Their souls were transferred just one too many times. I'm not sure about this. Maybe they're animals at first. Um, uh, they're, uh, attack, you know, they're, t- they, they walk into the room and, uh, uh, Dirk gets shot again by the crop, by the, uh, the crossbow. And, uh, so he's, so he's you know, in pretty bad shape, but all of a sudden Bart comes in with Ken and she only has two bullets left. Remember? Uh, so, uh, so she shoots one of them and, uh, you know, catches a crossbow bolt with her hand. You know, so, okay, the universe is once again working for her, right? Uh, catches the crossbow bolt uh, with her hand, and then she goes up. She's getting ready to shoot Dirk again. I mean, she has one bullet left, and she's assuming that it's for Dirk because, you know, he's there. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, all of a sudden, just as she's about to shoot him, she turns around, whips around, and shoots the other bald guy. Uh, so there is, uh, there's her other bullet, and uh, she, I think she realized, and all of a sudden Ken realizes, I know this thing. This is what I that those guys who hired me to, to fix to build, and so I can fix this thing. You know, the little machine has to get fixed before it can, before it can become a time traveling device, and so he uh, so he does it. That's uh, that was really his whole role in this thing. Uh, that and maybe to get Bart there, talk Bart you know down from the edge, and uh, get it again yeah, get her there and get himself there so he can fix the machine. So he fixes the machine. They send it back uh, uh, and. Um, you know, so that's great. Uh, Dirk has to go to the hospital. He had two cross bolts, uh, crossbow bolts stuck in him, and it was actually pretty, it was pretty impressive. Was, there was one here and there was one in the back, and so that had to hurt. So uh, what else? Uh, Todd's Todd's still a little pissed, um, you know, and he, you know his, his sister wakes him up in his apartment at this point. And they got, they cut from that scene, and Dirk goes. Yeah, apparently, we just have to assume everything worked out right. Uh, and uh, Dirk goes to the hospital, and uh, Dirk, you know, and, and so he's 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 there. And Colonel, what the heck was his name? Colonel Rodriguez. Colonel, stick with me here, folks. Um, yeah, Miguel Sandoval. Uh, Colonel Riggins, Colonel Scott Riggins. Um, uh, he's in his uh, Dirk's uh, uh, room and uh, talking to him, and Dirk's pretending to be asleep. And uh, it's like, you know, uh, kind of making amends for all, all this happened there for him. I'm going to move this thing up a little bit. There we go. Center myself. And um, you know, so, Dirk, uh, it, so Dirk was pretending to be asleep. Uh, he wakes up. He opens his eyes. Colonel Riggins is gone. And so, that, yeah, that's, and, and that, that's kind of it for that part. Uh, Todd wakes up in his, uh, in his apartment to his sister dumping beer in his face. Um, you know, so it's kind of rude, but okay, there she's pissed at him too. Um, so they talk for a little bit. She, she, he's, he's still pissed at, at Dirk. And, um, so she, uh, so, so she kind of explains to him, you know, kind of, you know, the facts of life in this situation, you know, you've saved the girl in the end. Doesn't that, is, doesn't that count for anything? I mean, that's really what the whole point was. And he lied to you. Guess what? He may, he turned you into an honest person. You know, yada, yada, yada. It's like, how does it feel? You know, kind of thing. And so that, you know, kind of brought him up, you know, from where he was at. And um, um, uh, we then we we cut to, way to see uh, Farrah Black is uh, talking to Lydia. And Farrah's giving Lydia instructions because she's getting getting Lydia out of the country. You know, because she doesn't know who's who's left out there. And just to protect her. And she's, you know, her dad's dead. Her mom's dead. She's pretty much an orphan. But she's a very, very rich orphan. So uh, Lydia gives, gives Farrah $4 million. How'd you do that with my phone? It's kind of, 
Hey, can I get to know you a little bit? So, um, yeah, that's okay. Uh, God knows I probably shouldn't have a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. I just want enough to be comfortable. So, but God knows. I mean, the big guy knows. This is probably not a guy that needs to be rich. I'm probably not going to make good decisions with it. So he's always kind of kept me away from that. So, um, okay, I guess I should say thank you for that. Except for I'd like to be corrupted a little bit. So anyway, uh, back to the story. Um, you know, Lydia's, Lydia's uh, takes off in a, in a limousine. She's on her way to go out of the country. Uh, then we uh, then Todd meets Dirk as Dirk's getting out of the hospital. Uh, and, uh, you know, because he's, you know, makes amends and it's like, it feels bad. It's like, I'm your friend. All very touching moment. Um, and then they, they meet, they meet Farah. Somehow they're with Farah at the, at a, at a restaurant. Oh, wait, that's right. Todd was saying, uh, Farah wants to meet with us at the, you know, or something like that. Was that right? Or was, did Farah need to, or, or did Farah get the message that Todd wanted to meet with her? I don't know. Somebody got a message to meet with him. So they're at the restaurant. This is really good stuff, huh? Uh, so they're at, the, they're at the restaurant, and Farrow wants to invest into the Dirk Gently Holistic Detective Agency to make it a reality instead of just a, a thing. And uh, uh, so it turns out that Colonel Riggins' second-in-command guy, uh, I can't remember his name, was, uh, is, was approached at the end of the last episode, and they, they, they're, they're sending him in to, cl- to do cleanup. And uh, his job is to uh, wipe, essentially wipe all evidence of this out, including getting, you know, getting rid of all the people. Um, and uh, so he, uh, Estevez, I believe Estevez is killed. I'm not positive. I mean, they don't see him laying there with his eyes wide open like he's dead. Uh, but they do show him getting shot several times. Um, uh, they pick up Dirk gently. Uh, so don't know what's, that, what's up with that. They come after uh, the rowdy three. And you know, I'm, I'm not sure what happens with that because I mean, they cut away from that. They, they go after Bart or the holistic assassin. And, uh, they show her standing there with, uh, a, a veritable legion in front of her. And all she has is Ken, who's got his arms up in the air, freaking out because, Oh my gosh, I'm going to die now. And, uh, then they have, uh, uh, um, and she has a rock in her hand. She bends over and picks up a rock, which, you know, for uh, for her, that could be enough. Uh, so uh, maybe she'll get out of this. Uh, so we're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to have to check to see when uh, the next episode is, and hopefully I can add that in here in a minute. Um, so uh, see when they pick it up. Uh, we are in mid-season, uh, the mid-season break right now, and uh, some shows go f- uh, don't pick up again until you know, the next fall. So I want to check out what that is, and I'll get back to you on that in just a minute. All right. Uh, information on BBC. They're being kind of hush hush about exactly when it's going to happen again. Uh, the only story I was able to find was uh, three weeks old. Uh, if you can find something, please, please, please tell me. Tell me if you can find something. I'm not in the know or anything. I'm just some guy in a, you know, in his kitchen doing videos here. Okay, they don't know me from anybody. So, uh, uh, yeah. The, but if you know, come tell me because uh, all they're telling me uh, is that uh, season two will return with ten episodes and premiere in 2017. They're not saying when in 2017. So uh, I'm trying to figure it out. I want to know. Uh, I'm sure you do too. So hopefully uh, we can get this going. Uh, if you know, if you have a date for, uh, for it, please let me know down below. Uh, let's talk about this. What do you think about this first season of uh, Dirk Gently? I know it veered away from the book, which is uh, for somebody like me, eh. Okay, I didn't read the book, so I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the whole thing because there was nothing spoiled about it for me. But if you read the books and uh, and and this uh, this I, I've heard this is you know veered way off of the books and had, you know missed all kinds of stuff and de- had a lot of this and didn't have any of that and uh, you, know, you know tell me what you thought of it. Tell me what you thought of the first season. Uh, down below, let's have a conversation about it. I'd like to like to hear your opinion. I'll give you mine. Uh, should I read the books after having watched the show? Will I have more insights into the show, or will I just be looking at it going, "What?" So I'd like to know what you think. Um, you know, give me a, give me a shout shout out down below. Uh, share this with your friends. Uh, I'm going to uh, if you if you look up above, you'll see uh, some some uh, some cars, some clicks for uh, uh, other reviews I've done. Rocky Horror Picture Show should be showing up right about now. Uh, so um. You know, tell me what you thought of it. 
uh, uh, I, I, I'll give you give you my opinions and uh, and let's have a conversation. Tell me how wrong I am. How wrong I am. I have uh, music to do, guys. So uh, I'll be talking to you later.